You know what, that was a close one. Those silly fans coming down there telling you that the nugget looks good, how dare they? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Maybe they were. Your secret's safe with me. I can't wait for you to see this trailer. Getting back on the Rocon trailer for the Golden Nugget. We're gonna get this thing out of the booth. We gotta start getting it assembled. We've got a lot of stuff to do. And so I've talked to my brother that's actually a contractor and he's super good with making wood. You don't make wood. <laughs> I was like, making wood? <laughs> wow, okay. That's so I've talked to my brother that's a carpenter. He's gonna be doing all the woodworking on the trailer. We're gonna get that all installed. So we've got a lot of stuff to do on this. First things first, we're gonna get the wheels out, get the trailer out, and get it moved around so we can start assembling it. Do not drop. That's way safer than the last time when Hillbilly decided to get punched in the face by Graham. <laughs> I know most of you said to do this, but what do you really think? Do you like it? Is it too much? Pins Not enough? It. I think it's just right. I hope they like it, because we've had enough standing on the nugget. We don't need to do no more. I miss the nugget so much. <laughs> Dude, legitimately, let's slide that forward, and we don't have to move it again until there's an axle in it. That's a great idea, in case you didn't know. We've got the Rocon trailer out of the booth. We've got it black with gold fenders. So this is the first time that Trevor's got to see it. This is amazing. So we were originally gonna go all gold, but then we decided just to put a little bit of spice in the black. Is that it's got gold some, flake in there? That's real gold, metallic-y, flaky stuff. Wow. Once we've got the Rocon on it, all gold, I think it's just gonna be the perfect amount of black and gold and with the wood. And we are putting wood decking in. I've got my brother who's a craftsman. <laughs> the last time I said, my brother makes wood. <laughs> <laughs> they made me, they're like, wait, say that again. So my older brother, Sean, He's a craftsman. He's gonna be actually building all the wood planks and we're gonna be putting them in so that Ed doesn't fall through the trailer. Cause that's our number one goal is to make sure he's happy with it, but doesn't get hurt with it. You've got done yourself once again. Well, thank you, sir. That's a beautiful shirt. Well, thank you. Where can you get that shirt? Mattsoffroadrecovery.com. You heard it first. Thanks for spot. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to do. My brother's gonna be here in probably an hour to help us plank this thing. And we were supposed to have it assembled yesterday. So let's get to it. All right, so we asked you guys a couple videos ago, we ended up Cerakoting this axle. We had it sandblasted. Cody did the Cerakote on it. It had to sit for five days minimum before we could touch it. So it's fully cured out. Ready to get the hub assemblies put on it. The leaf springs attached, get it under that trailer. And then we're gonna be reassembling these wheels that we painted black and putting them on the trailer. Which side do you want? The side that I end up on. Well then let's switch. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Yeah. How about I take this side? Sounds good. Now is this the right side or the left side? It's your side. And then we determined that this is the back of the trailer, correct? Correct. All right, this goes towards the back. Done. Boom, 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 boom. Pick it up and spin around again. You're making my brain hurt, kid. I'm gonna need your monkey paws. I let those at home. Come squeeze this sucker together. Are you pushing down? Yeah, look at that. He squeezes this thing like nothing. Good job, now you got another oh, one. Oh, I have to do both of them? Yeah, since you did such a good job, I'll let you do the other one. You know what we should do? What? A contest. You know the grip workout thing? You get one of those and you put a $100 bill in there. Last person to drop the $100 bill wins. Yeah, that sounds like a competition Hillbilly has rigged. So who's climbing under? <laughs> I'm not crawling nowhere. <laughs> With Hillbilly, you work smarter, not harder. Where does the drop shackle go? I'm supposed to remember this stuff, not me. We should ask Tom Tom. I think it goes towards the back. But we're gonna double check. I think we're supposed to have it the other way. Uh, we better... Go to YouTube. All right, so we're gonna do some checking on this and we'll be right back. Come on. All right, Hillbilly. For the first time in the history of ever, we did something correctly. Yeah. Finally, for once. So we've got the axle in right, we've got the leaf springs in correctly. We're gonna get those things buzzed up tight. Got my side all tightened up. Hillbilly's gonna get his all thrown together and then we're putting these hub assemblies on. Just like that. I wanna put these chains on real quick. That way I'm not trying to put them on while my hands are completely greasy. See, I'm thinking, and I'm gonna put the jack back on here and pin it. And I'm gonna put the hitch locky thingy majigger on. Oh, watch out, oh. What was that? You didn't even feel it, did you? So what? Exactly, check this out. You guys may have noticed Hillbilly hits his head all the time. Look at that, he's got a helmet now. No more hurting that big dome of his. Our editor wants me to be very careful, so he helped me be careful. What's up? We're gonna readjust the clutch. Oh, I hate that. Ugh. Hit his head. Our editor bought Mr. Hillbilly a helmet so that he doesn't get hurt anymore. Is it sad that I kind of want to test it out and actually 
accidentally hit my head, but really be on accident. Yeah, you don't have to pretend to do that. You'll actually do that. I know, but I'm excited to see what it feels <laughs> yeah. like. All right, so I'm gonna get this slid on. This is super easy. It literally just goes on and then the pin goes in. You know what I'm excited for dinner? <laughs> when the Rokon shows up to actually put it on this trailer and see how it fits. Yeah. It'd be nice to see how it fits on the trailer. I'm excited to see what Sean with Bikes and Beards did to that Rokon, because that's coming next. All right, now if I can remember how this sucker goes. Nope, I think the spring goes on the inside. Yeah, it goes on the inside. Okay, let me get the little square, the other spring, the other keeper, and the nut. We'll adjust it to fit the ball hitch back to your regularly scheduled programming. The hub assemblies. <laughs> taste it. No way. Taste it. I will not lift it. Grease actually doesn't taste too bad. That's gross. So I like to just get the spindle all nice and greased. Okay, so one thing we are gonna do is we're gonna load up the inside of the housing with grease. We don't need Ed losing a wheel on the trailer. Hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Generous portion of gravy in there. Got to keep your workspace clean. Nobody besides Hillbilly likes grease everywhere. It's not as bad as anti seize It's pretty close. All right. You got to go a little bit more. Dinner says tighten it up a little bit more. That's too tight. So you got to back okay, it Okay, so once you load the bearings, you got to take the nut fully off, hand tighten it. Look at that. Bearings are set. See how I can just tighten it with my hand? But I've got preload on the bearing, loosened it off, and then I've just hand tightened the nut. That's how I was taught to do it. I haven't had one come apart. And we'll get our cap. Okay, so we Cerakoted these caps, burnt bronze. This hammer has like no hitting force. No damage. One side's done and I beat Hillbilly, yes! So I was over here helping you do your side. Oh, come on. Hillbilly's gonna get the other side done, then we're gonna get the tires all mounted back up. Well, hi. Spread the grease. Robbie kicked all the tools over, but left it didn't kick the roll of paper, roll of paper towels over. So I just wiped on you guys. Ugga dugga, ugga dugga, ugga dugga. No, it's chugga 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 chugga. The impact makes ugga duggas. The grease gun makes chugga chuggas. Chugga chugga. Just right. Good if you ask me. Just gotta go a little tighter. A little tighter, it'll lock up. Your hole's off. Well, then I'll back it off. I won't tighten it up. Get all the grease off. Install the cap. Cap is installed. All right, last but not least. So my side's done, just like always. Not even reacting. We all know, including you guys know, when it comes to mechanical stuff, I'm faster. Survey says that was a lie. Auto body work, he's faster. Mechanical, pff, leave him in the dust. Done. All right, it's wheel time. First things first, gotta get the valve stems in soap them up a little bit and in theory they just walk in but they're not. You grab your persuader and talk to it real nicely. Mr. Vastim, getting you home. This is way harder than it appears. It's really not guys. Need help. <laughs> Guaranteed Hillbilly broke this valve stem off in here because he's the only one that's strong enough that could rip a valve stem in half. Wait. Dinner like knows exactly why I'm taking it out. He knows exactly what tire he broke it on. That's true. I broke it in there and I forgot about it. Dinner! Let's see if you can put it on with no machine. Watch this. No machine. No machine. Yeah, you're using a machine. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I did that by hand. Using hand. Using a machine. I did not use the machine. That was hand. That was by hand. With the assistance of a machine. Oh, yeah. You cheated. <laughs> All right, I'm getting some assistance from Dinsky. Whoa! <laughs> Don't let it pop up. 50 PSI. I would do it at 45. That's a lot of PSI. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just do 45 like Hillbilly says. Matt runs five PSI in his trailer tire. Yeah, but they're a little bit heavier than these. All right, we're gonna run 40. And then I'm getting out of the way. It's gonna be expertly installed. Oh jeez. It's gonna be expertly installed. Why is he using a machine? It's holding it for me. Ah! That's no machine. He cheated. He used the machine. What'd you put in yours? 40. Seemed a little much at 30. Seemed a little much at like 15. The tire said 50. Did you put your valve cap back on? Of course I did. Details. It's all about detail. All right, I did three Ugga Duggas. How does it look with that burnt bronze cap? I think it looks really good. Perfect fit. I like the color of the burnt bronze a lot. I'm gonna have to give me something to do my motorcycle exhaust. 
All right, so we've got the Golden Nugget trailer for the Rokon completely reassembled. So my brother's gonna be coming and helping us get all the wood made and put on the trailer, and then we're gonna have it all finished up. Oh, let's just see what we can do. We're gonna go test fit them. Like a glove. This is so Ed won't fall through when he puts his feet down. We're planing it, cutting it to length, and we're squaring everything up out of this old 100-year-old barn wood that he reclaimed out of a building in Manti. He owns a company called Leighton Homes. He builds custom homes in the San Pete County area. I would consider him as crazy perfectionist in his build as I am in auto body and everything that we try to do. I think this old barn wood is gonna look really good all clear coated. And I think Ed's gonna love it. Don't forget, that is who we're doing it for. We're doing it for Ed. The Rokon's gonna be showing up this week, so we're excited to get this Golden Nugget trailer finished. Let's get those boards cut and let's get this thing done. All right, so everything's all sanded up, but this wood I found out is red pine. I don't even use it anymore. It's super old, but it's super strong, and it has a lot of character to it. Do you guys like barn wood? Drop us a comment, let us know. Now we just need to countersink them, drill the holes to where the carriage bolts fit down in flush so they're not sinking up on top, and then put some clear resin on them so this will just look awesome and seal it all up. Everything is clamped up. We're gonna make marks and drill holes and get this thing bolted, and then we're gonna take it all back apart. All right, so I've got 20 holes drilled in that side and I've got 20 more to do on this side. So we're gonna have a total of 40 bolts in this thing. So this trailer is gonna be super rigid and these boards are never gonna move. It's for this man right here. We wanna make sure that he's safe. All right, that's hole number 40. Check this bit out. It is a stepper bit drill bit. That thing is amazing. I've never had a 516 drill bit drill 40 holes in a row, no cutting oil, no time in between, hotter than hot and not break. I mean, the drill is even super hot. That was awesome. Now it looks beautiful. So we've got everything drilled. It's all countersunk. It's ready to be clear coated and then bolted on, but it's late. So we're going home. My brother came to help. He did an awesome job doing all the wood. I think Ed's gonna appreciate it and everybody else. So it's time to go home. It is tomorrow. See how that brings up that mm -hmm. sphere there. All right, so as you can see, Sean came in today. Sean is my older brother. He came in today, got it all varnished up. It's dry. So these turned out pretty awesome. I like the way they look. They're old, but they're strong, and they have a lot of character, kind of like Ed. So I think they're gonna fit in really nice with him. So we've got the whole crew tonight. We've got Cody, Dinner, Hillbilly, and me. Each of us are just gonna take a board. We're gonna get it all installed, get it bolted down. And as soon as we're done with the wood, this thing is finished. And we have the boss with all our Laffy Taffies. We need to get them on, and you gotta tap your bolt. So we're putting 10 bolts per board, putting a washer and a nut on the bottom side, and this should make this trailer super rigid. I think it's gonna look really good. That clear coat really pulled out the character in it. I like it a lot. Still just a little sticky. I gotta let you guys know, we are getting almost down to being fully out of the limited edition pieces of paint from the Golden Nugget. So if you guys are thinking about getting it, make sure and go to RobbieLayton.com and get yourself something off the website. Any purchase you make, sticker, patch, hat, shirt, it'll come with a piece of the Golden Nugget paint. So you do not wanna miss out, because as soon as it's gone, it's gone forever. Board number one is done. Who's next? next. All the slats are done. The trailer for the Golden Nugget is finally finished. So we're gonna take it outside. We're just gonna look at it. Then we're gonna look at it some more. We got a big thing coming. The Rokon is gonna be here. We're gonna be test fitting the Rokon on the trailer and making sure everything's all good with it. And then we're ripping that thing apart and we're gonna get it painted. Got the Golden Nugget trailer completely finished up. Only thing we need now is that Rokon to show up so we can get it put on here and see how it looks. We think this turned out awesome. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments if you guys like the color scheme, if you like the wood. So as always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.